Oh my God, there are just so many things I need to show you. This update is a very big deal. But on top of all that, this is also going to be a bit of an unusual walkthrough. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole van der Hooven. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm Jolt Witsian. Uh... We are in a hotel in Utrecht just after the PKM Summit 2024. I'll organize the walkthrough around snippets from my chat with Nicole van der Hoven. We met at the summit last week. We've just spent two days with each other and I don't know, like 150 160 people. 160 amazing people. It was just plain amazing. If you're not familiar with my channel, the video is about the Excolator plugin that I'm developing for Obsidian MD. Links are in the description. There's a lot to cover today. We'll talk about improvements to the interactive embeds, developments that make it easier to flip the page over, some Easter egg features, the seasonal pun is intended, a minor but important file format change, a new image annotation feature that is similar to cropping, support for multiple Excolidraw templates, and the referencing parts of images using the frame titles. Let's get started. Um, one of the things that has stopped me from fully getting into visual thinking and visual PKM is that I felt like I had to choose, like either I build this thing that's completely visual or I build this thing that's completely text. And if I have to choose between the two of them, I'm going to choose text because it's easier to search and you know, it's easier to create stuff, you know, to type things rather than to draw things for me anyway or to sketch things out. Um, but what Jolt is talking about is this really cool concept of having it both because now Excalibur Draw files, Excalibur Draw drawings in Obsidian can be saved as Markdown and you, if they're Markdown, then really it can just be the same note. One note with two different modes. I'm going to implement a feature to convert your existing Markdown notes into Excalibur Draw notes. Yeah, that will give you the freedom that even if you have started with a Markdown note, but you think, okay, I should actually add a drawing on the other side, then that's going to be easy to do. Like Nicole, I'm also very excited about the idea of flipping the sheet over. To support this, now you can flip any markdown document over with a new command palette action that adds the necessary Excolidra markup to any existing note in your vault. Simply open an existing markdown document access the Obsidian command palette with Control or Command P and pick Convert Markdown Note to Excolidraw Drawing. You can switch back to Markdown View Mode by selecting Toggle between Excolidraw and Markdown Mode in the command palette. Yeah, because I, I was saying to Jolt once he told me this idea, I was like, why, why wouldn't I have every note? be an Excalibur draw drawing and a markdown note? Yeah. Why would I limit myself? Even if it's something that I don't really, I, can't, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to visualize it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have the option. And if the option were there and it's easy to just switch to it, then I might be more likely to visualize something on that other side. Yeah. But it's, it's a, yeah, it's like flipping the, the sheet over when I didn't know I could do that. In another discussion, Nicole went as far as suggesting to mass convert all her notes to Excolidraw files. This is possible since the minimum Excolidraw markup is really light. However, I advise against this and recommend going one step at a time. But let's imagine this scenario for a moment. All your files are Excolidraw files. You will likely face two issues, both of which are addressed in the new release. First, sometimes you want your note to open in Markdown by default, not as a drawing. The Excolidraw OpenMD document property does just that. Simply add Excolidraw OpenMD True to the front matter, and when you click on an Excolidraw file, it will open in Markdown by default. Second, if you publish your notes with Obsidian Publish, 
and all your notes are ex-collateral files, you will likely want to hide the ex-collateral markup in your published pages. This takes us to the Easter egg feature. Simply add the opening markdown comment symbol, the double percentage sign, to the line right above text elements. The next time you open and save the Excolidraw drawing, Excolidraw will automatically remove the other comment symbols below text elements, ensuring that the entire section is hidden on the web. Just as a side note, you can force save your drawing in Excolidraw view mode by pressing Ctrl-S. Note, in this case, it is Ctrl-S both on Mac and Windows. You will also find the force save button in the Obsidian tools panel here. This change that allows you to hide the Excolidraw markup also comes with a minor file format change that also makes the Excolidraw markdown easier to read and edit manually. There is now a new section in the file format called Element Links. But watch out! This impacts backward compatibility. Files you save with 2.0.26 will not fully work with earlier versions, thus I advise updating Excolidraw on all your devices. But how would you use the visual side of the note? So on the visual, you can create really a small visual. So you, you should really think about it as a post-it note. Yeah. So you have a small visual and then behind it, you can have a large amount of text and links and ideas. But if you summarize the note on the other side with a small visual, it gives you another level of how you can engage with your concepts. So because when you start to organize your concepts, you're organizing these visual cards and you're creating connections between those cards. And yes, on the other side, you have the detail, but it's sort of a visual summary of your card, which adds another dimension, but also helps you remember the content better. I, I think it's just such a good idea. If you want to learn more about this, I recommend watching my video about the forcing function. Link is in the description. But what if you find switching between Markdown and Excolidro cumbersome? I have two solutions for this. Remember how I used the command palette to flip the page? You can configure a key combination to flip the page. Open Obsidian hotkey settings and look for toggle between Excolidraw and Markdown mode. On a side note, it was fun to learn at the summit that Nicole has set up exactly the same shortcut, Ctrl-Alt-E or Command-Option-E on my Mac to switch between Markdown view and Excolidraw view. Plus, there is a huge improvement to Markdown embeds. The plugin now supports embedding sections from the backside of a drawing, including something similar to how cards function on Obsidian Canvas. So if you're like Nicole and can't choose, you can now have it both ways at the same time. You can have the back of the card on the front and the front of the card on the back. Let me show you. By right-clicking and selecting Add Back of Note Card, from the context menu or the command palette, you can create markdown embeds that reference sections on the back side of the drawing that you're currently editing. Notice how when I flip this page over to markdown view mode, the new heading is there in the document. A similar feature is also available on insert any file allowing you to add a markdown section from another Excolidraw file. Additionally, I implemented a few minor quality of life changes. For example, if an embeddable element is selected in the scene, pressing the enter button will jump right into editing mode. I also fixed the number of small bugs with the embedded element style settings. Remember how I said you can have the back on the front and the front on the back? 
If you're in Markdown mode, you can insert the front of the card as an image reference. If you auto-export drawings to SVG, this will make your notes publish ready. But if you're still not convinced, here's Nicole talking about how she uses visuals in her own workflow. I think where I go to visual things is when I'm trying to understand really abstract concepts. Mm -hmm. I also do it from the point of view of people. Mm -hmm. I do it a lot to visualize teams, like this person is within this team, so there's like a little, not necessarily, yeah, not necessarily a hierarchy, but I like to group people. Mm -hmm. Like these people are in this team and these people are in this other team and it helps me see like, oh, that's why they're, they're, they know each other mm -hmm. or whatever, so. Finally, there are three additional features I want to show you very briefly. First, I implemented a new image annotation function that works very similar to image cropping. Pick any image on Obsidian Canvas or in a Markdown node and select Annotate Image in Xcolor Draw from the command palette. This will embed the image into Xcolor Draw where you can annotate it and replace the image in the original location with the Xcolor Draw version. The feature comes with settings similar to cropping. I recommend watching the cropping video to get a good understanding. Second, this is a feature I wanted to implement for so long. You can now reference frames by their names. This is great when you're creating a presentation in Xcolor Draw and want to author a markdown note that accompanies your presentation or simply want to print the slides. Finally, though this was already released two weeks ago, I thought I'd mention the support for multiple templates. Simply set a folder as your template in plugin settings. Files in the folder will be treated as different templates. For example, I have a template with normal fonts, not the hand-drawn fonts for illustrations I create at work because normal fonts are easier to read when presented. I have a second template with a very small export padding that I use when deconstructing images. Finally, I have the base template I use for most of my drawings. Multiple templates open so many opportunities. And stay tuned for the next video. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, Nicole, this was this was awesome. So I'm I'm just so yeah. super happy that uh, we had this summit that we both came and yeah. met, and also of course met with lots of other great people um, that we either knew from the various social uh, media channels and and through YouTube, etc. So it was it was just an amazing opportunity, and yeah. I'm looking forward to. Next year. Next year and the <laughs> next opportunity. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And there is going to be a PKM summit in Europe next year. I don't exactly I remember the date. March, March uh, 13, March 14, or, um, 15. Something. Anyway. Yeah. Mid March next year. And then also in the US. And that will be in April. We will link in the description the the site that you can go to for PCAM Summit so you can be informed because you know the dates might change or something but highly recommend it I'm, I'm glad that we both went yes. <laughs> and finally met each other and met some of you as well <laughs> maybe next time we'll meet more of you absolutely all right thank you thank you <laughs> and thank you